GI Living, at home in your community. Well, we just finished up Women's History Month, but we're keeping in the spirit with our friends from the Urbana Free Library and today's Page Turners, Champaign County Historical Archives librarian, Sarah Bennett, joins me. Sarah, it's great to have you here. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course. So today we're talking about a really neat lecture that's coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about what it's about? Sure. So on Thursday night, we're hosting Jean uh, Schultz Angel, and she'll be talking about the history of women's suffrage in Illinois. Okay, and so this is happening over Zoom, is that correct? It is. It's on Zoom. Zoom, we've got a couple Zoom events left, and then we'll probably get back to in person. Now, is this one of those things where it's like a discussion, or you just kind of soak it all in and listen? It'll be a lecture for 45 minutes, and then there'll be time for a Q&A at the end. Okay, so you can go back and forth and actually discuss what you think and questions and all that kind of stuff. Definitely. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit about who this speaker is? Sure. Um, Jean Schultz Angel is the Director of Learning Engagement at the Naper Settlement in Naperville, um, just up in the suburbs. Um, the Naper Settlement is a really interesting outdoor museum, so there's a lot of experiential places to see, a woodsmith shop, a blacksmith, um, as well as a historic house. Wow, okay, so this is kind of special yeah. to be able to have a speaker like that for, for this little event here. And what's the, what kind of stuff are we going to cover? I mean, 45 minutes is a pretty good lecture. Sure, um, so she'll be covering the whole history of women's suffrage in Illinois. Um, it began locally discussions in the late 1800s. So she'll be talking about early work, um, different groups of activists that tried to get the right to vote, what happened when the 19th Amendment, Amendment was passed in 1920, all the way through the Civil Rights Movement um, when barriers to African American women's votes uh, were finally Interesting. And you were talking to me earlier about something that's kind of unique with the Urbana Free Library. What was that that you were sharing? Sure. So we've got a lot of newspapers in our collection at the archives, and we have a few newspaper clippings um, that discussed earlier discussions. Oh, yeah, we have them about, right here. Yeah, um, of uh, women's first votes locally. So the first issue women were allowed to vote on was actually whether or not the Urbana Free Library should be funded. Wow. Um, the city ended up selling $10,000 of bonds, and that's how the land for the library was bought. Isn't that crazy? It's so cool, and that building that was built is the building I work in. Yes. So it's really neat to connect back that that's, far. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, what's the importance of having a lecture like this, and the importance of people engaging in it, and actually wanting to um, participate and take part in it? It's really important to remember that history is a living thing and that it may seem like it happened over 100 years ago, but a lot of the issues that women face then we're still facing today. Um, a lot of changes happen, but it's definitely not over. And, you know, history is an active thing that we can contribute to. And so having lectures like this really helps bring it alive um, and show how the archives and history yeah. is like an ever-evolving. Most definitely. And, of course, we have some books right here of resources that people can grab at the Urbana Free Library, too. Yeah, so these are just a couple books we have on women's suffrage. Um, the one on the right side is about um, Ida B. Wells, who was a really influential activist and journalist in the movement. Yeah. Our center book is about local women in Danville who were suffragettes. Oh, interesting. And then this book on the other side is just an overview of uh, influential women in Illinois who fought for the vote. Plenty of resources. Let's talk event details and how people can participate. Sure. So the lecture is this Thursday night at 6 p.m. on Zoom. People can register on the Urbana Free Library's uh, calendar on our website, urbanafreelibrary.org, or find information on our Facebook page. There you go. We'll connect you with all you need to know at ciliving.tv.